What's up everybody? Major Freeze here and we're back in another episode of Dark Souls 1. Uh, I recorded for about three hours yesterday and when I was done, the audio recording program Audacity forced closed on me before I could save the voice recording. So instead of that, I'm going to go over some main things that you would have missed in that video and drop them in this video in clips that you'll see while I'm talking. So before I take off from here, uh, let's get caught up. So first thing I did was that I found out that my sword had a powerful blessing after reading the description as you'll see in the clip that I'm showing you now. After that, I tested what it said by going down to the catacombs to kill the skeletons that wouldn't die before and to explore the catacombs further because I didn't get past that first room. After that, uh, I found a bonfire and figured out if I would, if I was no longer hollowed, uh, kindling a fire brought it up to 10 Estes like the original Fireside Shrine or Fire Link Shrine or whatever that is. After that, uh, I found a halberd called Lucerne and tested that out. Then found a secret room behind a fake wall, which had the bonfire, which I'm standing at now, but you're probably seeing me do that at this point. After fighting for about two hours, my sword was almost broken and was doing almost no damage. So I decided to make a mad dash to the only blacksmith I'm aware of to repair it. So I ran all the way back to like that big giant Andre dude in that tower.
After that, I homeward boned back to this bonfire and fought a giant skeleton and got the Dark Moon Seance Ring, which you'll see here. Finally, after the after that, uh, I fought two archer skeletons and a fire guy, and got the skull lantern, which I then inspected and found out that it would light up whatever the giant place is. All right, now that we got caught up, uh, caught up uh, let's get back into the game. Cat's also here, so he's uh, going to be watching me play for the next uh, couple hours, I guess, unless he decides to take off. You ready to go, man? Yeah, let's get it, man. All right, so where I'm at now is in the catacombs. By This is the secret wall that I was just talking about. Okay, yeah. And I had to go up there and pull that lever and it flipped that bridge over. Now, um, if I come into this room, is this dude going to aggro if I go this far? I don't think so. Uh, if I come into this room, there's a drop down or a pit that I haven't ever been in. I don't know if it's a bottomless pit. Come on, skeleton. That's the beauty of Dark Souls. Sometimes there's that leap of faith moment. Is this death or not? <laughs> right, and that's kind of what I'm uh, dealing with here. I gotta go down to the bottom and uh, get the souls that I lost first. Cause there was a... I think, moreover, honestly... Uh, I don't I don't really care about losing souls so much as I care about losing humanity. Yeah. Cuz I think I think when I died last, I think I had like 3 humanity. All right, great. Yeah. And that that definitely hurts to lose. The souls are pretty obtainable. Yeah, I mean you you, know? can, you can pretty much farm them. I I've noticed. From any source. Right, yeah. Right. 
So, Humanities might not be quite as easy to pull that off, though. So. Right, exactly. You know what, I'm just gonna say fuck it, because I don't care. Um, humanity, you could still farm, though, right? Bye, bitch. It's, from what I remember, like I said, it's been a while since I played Dark Souls 1, and I've never played Remastered, but from what I remember, it was kind of an RNG thing. Sometimes they would drop humanity, sometimes they wouldn't, you know. Right, but I mean, it's not like it's a limitless resource, in the, it, or a limited resource, like, uh, I'm gonna assume, like, Titanite Chunks and Titanite Shards pickups, and all that. Pickups might be limited, but drop? I don't think so. Alright, so, so this you, is... Go ahead. You know, I was just gonna say, so if you pick it up off of an already dead body, or, like, of the loot that's up there, and it's humanity... Right. Right. That's that's probably going to be limited, you know. Right, but, but getting it randomly you're just killing awesome. mobs, yeah, killing a bunch of mobs, and next thing you know, you look over and you've got humanity, and that's probably farmable, just rare, 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 rare. Yeah. All right, so this is that leap of faith pit I was talking about. It's dark as shit. Wait, there's something down there. And I don't know if you can see it, but right above my shield. You see that? Yeah. Kind of looks like a platform. Kind of. I have nothing to risk at this point. You know, I got 300 souls. I don't I don't remember what I left down at the bottom of the, the, the pit where I died before, but I don't really care. So... Oh. Green Titanite Shard. I've gotten one of those before. Uh, magic Divine Fire Weapon. So is that what this weapon that I'm using is then? Is that what... Here, I'll, sh I'll show you the, the actual weapon. And you tell me if I'm right. Um... So it says high quality weapon with a powerful blessing. Does powerful blessing does that mean divine? Okay, thank you. Cuz it's got it's got uh magic and Where is it? What the fuck? It's got magic and physical damage on it. And then I don't know what this circle at the bottom is like this white circle that says 120. I don't know what that does. I don't know what that is. Are you not telling me on purpose? Hello? Cat? Um... Okay. Hold on. Oh, okay. Well, he had to run off and uh, take his dog to the bathroom, I guess. Take his dog somewhere. So, never mind. I'll ask him when he comes back. All right. Um, so hopefully I have enough health. There's something down there. Hopefully I have enough health. Oh, yeah, I do. Cutscene? What the fuck? He, he, he doesn't look menacing at all. Do what? But he doesn't look menacing at all. Why did he sound like a military ham radio? <laughs> okay. Um, 
So what I was asking, oh, a bonfire. Nice. So what I was asking you before, before you just randomly disappeared, is um, I want you to tell me, this is the weapon I'm using right here, okay? Uh, it's got 80 physical and 80 magic. I don't know what this like white circle that says 120 out of, out of auxiliary effects does or what it what it is. And um, it, it says high quality weapon with a powerful blessing. Is that powerful blessing? Does that mean it's like divine or something? Blessing just means faith. If it says blessing or miracle, that means faith. Okay, because I've, I've read something about divine weapons uh, when I was talking to Andre, that yeah. the big the big dude. So I don't know what divine weapons are. And then here, go back to what you were looking at before. That's that page for your weapon. Yeah. Uh, hit Y. I changed this over no, here. Yeah. Yeah, go back. That is it's not poise. I had to get fourteen faith in order to use I'm this. Trying weapon. To, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember what that one twenty is. Because the Dark Souls one is different with that. Yeah, and unfortunately, I can't do this inspect here right, while I'm right, on that right, page. Right. So, all right, am I going to have to fight this fucker? I don't think so. It sounds like he's a blacksmith. Dude, that... That kind of annoys the shit out of me that there was a blacksmith right here because I just made a yeah. run for the gun. Oh, well, repair equipment. Uh, and then I'm going to repair my shield. Uh, reinforce, does that mean like upgrade to plus one or two or whatever? Yes. What? Oh, I don't have enough souls to do that. Okay. It's something else. I don't know if you've noticed, but do you see how that sword requires twinkling titanite? No. Hold on. Uh, let me do this. Okay, twinkling titanite. Yep, I see that. Most of your weapons require something different. Yeah, titanite shards. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, see, it doesn't really... doesn't tell me what it is. That's why I don't know what the hell it is. Ah, I don't know. So, in order to upgrade that, I need Twinkling Titanite, which is said I had two... And yeah, I think you have enough for a plus one. And I needed uh, 2,000 souls. So, obviously, I can't do that yet. Um, I need to buy some of these. Okay. All right. So he doesn't... Uh, okay, I'm going to talk to him. Okay. Okay, so basically he just doesn't want to talk to me at all. Okay. 
Dude, you're hitting an anvil that has nothing on it. But he did say something. Yeah, he said... He said the he ember... Did help with the ember from Londo. It's a shame that the whole place has been flooded. I never got that dialogue. Really? Yeah, I, I was never that persistent. Well, I wonder if it's a... Uh, um, I don't know. Like, I usually talk to people a few times, but I would have probably gave up on him. You know? Right. I usually talk to them until they stop repeat or they start repeating the same thing. Yeah. God, I hate the skeletons. I don't mind the skeletons. I hate these wheel fuckers. I hate the skeletons, bro. Period. All skeletons? Yeah, I just always hated them until... I just don't want them to go down and hit him. Yeah. Probably be better off risking your life than his. You know? I was gonna say, did he not die? <laughs> Alright, so... I died... Do you own a torch? No. I do have this, uh, the skull, though. Um. I'm surprised you don't own a torch. I don't have one, nope. I'm trying to bait that. There's a wheel skeleton over there. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Nope. Nope. This sucks. All right, if I remember right, there's one... Go ahead. I was just going to say, I don't like the way the impacts sound against those enemies. Like, it just barely even sounds like you're hitting him. Yep. And they hurt so bad, dude. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. So, okay, so it looks like I should be safe now. I'm gonna go back in here and I'll show you this, the only light source I think I have. And you tell me if I'm wrong, but, um, it's, so yeah, I don't have a torch. I do have, uh, this. Read it. And when I put it like here, see, lights it up, but it's not very, not very bright. I mean, that's about what a torch will give you. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. That doesn't help a whole lot at all, actually. It does, though. So, I died. I'm trying to bait these skulls. Come on, bro.
I'm trying not to get too close because there's like a bronze knight. He was up in that space and jumped down, and I don't know where the hell he went after that. So I thought I died right in here. The archer to your left? There's two of them there. Yeah, two. Yep, there's two there, and there was a, uh, a fire guy there, too. That's where this this right here is where I fought those two guys and uh, the fire guy and that's where I got that head thing from I thought it was right here where I died last but I guess not oh I did pick up one humanity though what else is over there have you gone that way yet yeah I came from that way and and went down this way before and came into here before okay so that's that's the normal way to come it would be yeah see, guess, yeah see the bronze knight right there no you don't see him not at all he's right right in front of me it must just be my monitor or whatever it's completely pitch black right there for me I it's see. i mean it's dark but i see something glinting moving yeah not on my screen you see him uh no okay wait I see something. Looks like he's stuck. Yeah, I see something. I don't want him to ambush me in the back. I think he's stuck up there, but... Also, don't know how to get there. It's, it's got to be a drop down. It's got to be a drop down, yeah. God, I, I remember almost none of this. I have no idea what's after that, that pit where I just fought all those skeleton guys. I have no idea what's after that. Uh, fog wall. Okay. Okay. Oh. That didn't work. Well then. I, I completely remember this man. Do you? Yeah. That's not creepy at all. Pinwheel. Um. Some what the f
Okay, that's the real one. Phantom. Real one. Real one, Phantom. There's one behind me. Yep. Drink, 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 drink. Come on. Oh my god, so many. Phantom, that's the real one there. But I gotta stop some of this fire. Bitch. Alright, that fight. By the right of kindling, you may now kindle beyond the normal limit. Okay. So does that mean... Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to look that so, up. So, you have officially just defeated what is widely considered to be the lamest and easiest Dark Souls boss. Yeah, definitely easiest shit. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people think it's just very poorly designed, very lame. Which it kind of is, but... Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so there's a ladder there. Yeah, that boss was super easy. Mask of the Child. Okay, what's that? So much of this garbage, bro. What can I do with all that? Slightly raises stamina recovery speed. Okay. Like, what can I do with all of the shit that I don't care about? No, I don't in my remember in this one. I don't remember if you can sell it or not. Uh, I mean, I haven't found a place I could sell it. Yeah, I honestly don't remember. Because I don't want to just drop it on the ground if I could use it for something, but. Keep it. What is that? What is this thing? It says, looks like a beacon of light. Shortcut ahead. Yeah, there's nothing back here. Wonder does that drop down on that item from before? I don't think so. I think it just drops down on the other side of the fog wall. See? Okay. Yeah, this is that hallway. The item's over there. It's just to take me back to that bonfire. Or back to the where I was before. 
here. I love the light design though. I can't see like anything. Yeah, it's nice at the same time it's frustrating too. Oh, it's frustrating, but it's like an intentional mechanic, you know, to makes every step nerve wracking. Right. Tomb of the Giants. I see you, Skelly Fuck. You can kill him without the shield, can't you? I have to constantly be holding this in order to have light. He looks kind of tough, though. I know. That's why I want the shield. Oh, yeah. He's tough. Oh, no. Jeez. It's gonna hurt. I can't see! Oh god! No! Can't see shit down there, bro. And that's 18,000 fucking souls down there. <sighs> yeah, that's tragic. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, dude, this shit's ridiculous. Well, that was a waste. I'll tell you right now, those are one of the most hated enemies in all of the Dark Souls games. Not the, one of the most hated enemies. Yeah, I just lost 18,000 souls because of that stupid tracking bullshit. Yeah, this, they're annoying. Very annoying. And that's why. <laughs> I'm so pissed right now. Fuck that, dude. Are you kidding me? All damage fucking killed me. Fuck this place, man. Like, I've never hated an enemy respawning more than these stupid shit, man. Yep, and just... 
I just got pinned right there and just got fucked over. Wow. Beat my head against the fucking wall. Such bullshit, dude. Eighteen thousand souls down the fucking drain over some dumbass wheel motherfuckers. So I've done some research on your shores and I understand it. Uh huh. I don't know how much you want me to tell you, but. Motherfucker! <sighs> sure. Okay. So your sword. Considered a very, very good early faith weapon. Uh huh. It is very, very good for the area that you are currently in. Um, but like I said, it is a faith-based weapon. Um, it scales 51% off of strength, 51% off of dexterity, and 51% off of faith. So it's kind of a three-way split, but to maximize that weapon, you would need faith. There is other weapons that you can scale off of faith that are potentially better but you're doing fine with the weapon that you have now right and if you like it it wouldn't hurt to upgrade it either I do like it I don't like that I can't see a fucking thing. Like, and I and I have to keep holding L L one in order to even fight this fucker because I can't see him. Oh my god, are you kidding me? So, oh, the auxiliary effect freeze? Yeah, yeah, the 120 thing? Yeah. Uh-huh. That is essentially like the effect of what the weapon does and whether or not the enemies will be resistant to it. 
So like, say you have your auxiliary effect is curse, for instance. If that enemy has no curse resistance, it's going to be really effective. Or if that enemy's weak to curse, it's going to be really effective. Yours has divine. That's 120 divine. Is what your current weapon. Okay, so does that mean I got... I don't understand what the 120 is for then. That's just the... That's You have a, essentially 120 auxiliary effects. It's just a mathematical stat. So, say the enemy has 20 divine resistance, you know what I mean? He would have negated 20 of that. Or whatever. But, like... For instance, if that enemy is weak to divine, you would essentially... Not exact numbers, but you would do, like, 120% more to that enemy. Oh, okay. You know? gotcha. Not exact numbers, but that's just the rating of how much of that effect you're getting. Gotcha. And what is it? Because because this is a divine weapon, that's why they don't come back to life? Is that what's happening? Well, Were they coming back to life before? Yeah, when I was fighting with the Claymore, they were coming back to life, and then I'm, now I'm fighting them with this sword. Oh, I don't think that's what that was. Yeah, that's not what that was. God damn! When I was looking up your sword online, most people said for early game, for the start of the game, they either use the sword that you currently have or that Zoy Hander you picked up from the graveyard. Bullshit. Which is my favorite sword. Okay, don't drink when I told you to drink. That works too. The input buffering can be a little weird sometimes. Yeah, that works. This guy's rough. Especially because I have to hold L1 and I can't do anything else while I'm holding it. And I can't backstab him. Yeah. I was, I was about it, to say, I would have healed. But his, I, can't, I gotta dodge that fucking kick, but I can't because as soon as I dodge, he just turns and stomps on me anyways. Yeah. <sighs> I but feel it, like this guy is strategically placed and designed to just be hard to deal with. Because if you had a big open area and it was well lit, you could easily take him out, you know? Yeah. That's not the case. So, like, he's supposed to be kind of a pain in the ass to get through. Sounds like they're still right on your ass. Uh-huh. There's no way to avoid that fall damage. Oh, potentially. You just might not have it. Right. Well, I mean, there's no way to avoid that fall damage for me right there. In then. your current state, I don't think so. Yeah, but you have a good weapon. Just remember that it is faith and it is divine. So what happens with a lot of magic weapons is they can be good, but they don't necessarily scale all the way to the end unless you put a lot of points into faith and they're enemy dependent. Come I forgot on. how heavy the medium roll is in Dark Souls 1. I have to let go of L2 to do anything. Or L1. Yeah, while holding L1, your stamina regen is dog shit. So I feel like that's part of what's hurting you too. 
you never have stamina because you have to hold L1 that long. I wonder if you should just fight him dark, bro. I can't see! You can see enough. Fuck out the way. Yeah, you can't see well, but you can. If you're right up on him, you can see enough. You, that's the trick: the, is just don't get distance. The 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 big part is, I, well, I can't. Okay, so he does a bunch of attacks. He does like an overhead slam attack yeah. that I can't block. Right. Um, and if I'm over, if I'm, if I'm in his face, I got to do this in order to even be able to see where the fuck I'm going. Uh, if I'm in his face. If I can lead him back here. Maybe try that. Maybe you could even get him to drop down. Wow. Cool. I retrieved nothing. Yeah, that should be the plan. Yeah, we need to get him to drop down. That way you don't need the light at all. You can see clear as day. You need to heal, buddy. I he know. catches you with one thing. Yeah, there we go. Actually, you don't even have to fight it. Nope. Unless he can climb. I Fuck doubt this guy can climb. I think he Fuck broke that. when he landed. I think he crumbled. Wait, is he above you again? Oh, no way. He just fell down. Did he? I think he reset. Yeah. Wait, what? Please tell me you saw that. Yeah. Like, even if I can fight him here on this brick, it would be better. You can't see. I can it's even see harder the... to see into the dark than when you're in the dark. No, but if I can get him to be on this brick, I can see it. I think he reset. Nope, he died. Let's go. I hear somebody, another big ass motherfucker walking though. So there's a place to drop right there. You hear it? Yeah. Are you going down this way? It's that big lumbering fuck. I think that's the guy. That's the same guy. I think he no. killed something else. So wait, you think dropping down on that thing, I should be able to drop down to that, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You want to drop down on the little one first, yeah. 
Oh. Oh. That's the oh, guy. Oh fuck no. And there's at least there's one more in there, yeah. And there's a soul up there still. If you drop down the other side. There's a bridge we crossed. There's an item up there. There's a ladder here. There's an item below it. Oh god. This is terrible. This area. I remember this area being god awful, bro. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. It's a big motherfucker, Archer. Well, we're just going to go for it. So many ways to go, though. That's the issue. What's up, homie? That motherfucker got kicked me off the You hear a damn dog. You hear it? Yeah. I have a... I have a sinking suspicion that I'm going to walk to the edge of that. And he's going to kick me in the back and I'm going to fall down. No humanity, a thousand souls, fuck it. Uh-huh. How do you know about patches, bro? Huh? How the hell did you know about patches? What do you mean? How did you know he was going to kick you in the back? Because! Dude, that was like hardcore bait right there. Yeah, bait, but not for him to kick you in the back. The I didn't bait necessarily was the fact know. That he was... said there was loot down in the fucking hole. I knew he was going to do something. Not necessarily kick me in the back, but I knew he was going push me off or something. Oh, another one of these things? In case you made it all the way here without it? <laughs> yeah, somehow, yeah. Is that what his name? Patches? Yeah. So, what would happen if I had said no, I was not a cleric? I don't know. Do you know? Really? And you just don't want to tell me? Um, I don't think anything right there. I, I'm pretty sure he kicks you off the edge regardless if you walk up to it. Ah. What's up, girl? Alright, 
Oh, so both her knights are dead, and so now I gotta fight them. Great. Ow, fuck your bullshit. I gotta fucking heal, but I gotta wait for his attacks. Nope. It was the wrong goddamn time. Essentially, this is what I gotta do. I don't know where the edge is, if there is an edge. Shit, I don't have any humanity. Damn it. What? Why did that kill me? Because it was a side swing? Okay, so here's the thing. Hear me out here. Okay. I don't know this for sure. Because back when I played this game, I was really young. And I didn't care about lore. I didn't care about any of that kind of info. Okay? I just ran through the game. Uh-huh. What I'm thinking is... Right now, you're in the catacombs, right? Right. And it's completely pitch black. You're fighting completely undead enemies, all skeletons. You run up to Patches, and he asks you if you're a cleric, right? Because it's going to be easier for a holy man to make it through a catacomb. Okay. He asks you if you're a cleric, and then he kicks you over the edge when you tell him you were. Right. Once you fall down to the end or to the bottom, you run up to a, a chick who looks like she might be a priestess. Right, 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 right. Who tells and... you that up ahead there's two very tough hollows. Right. I'm thinking that you are currently fighting a cleric with a divine weapon. I think that might be the issue. I don't know, but I think it could be. You think that I think that weapon is helping you greatly with the skeletons. But not with the cleric. But not with the cleric. It's okay. worth a shot. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My Agreed. other question was, are you, have you been upgrading anything? I got, upgraded my claymore and that's it. Okay. What's your stats? Um, uh, here. Hold on. Give me two seconds. Uh, oh, my bad. Endurance? Yeah. So you have more endurance than you do damage stats. Yeah. Because I needed to wait in order to carry shit. Okay. I understand that. But as a friendly pit, <coughs> usually your highest stat is your primary damage stat. Not always, but usually. Um, okay, you have 17, 14, and 14. So that weapon should be kind of decent. It's unupgraded, right? Your divine sword? Right, right, yeah. Yeah, that might scale a little bit if you upgrade it. 
Now, the thing is, that 120 auxiliary effect or whatever, that's not going to change. Right. If you want to go with a faith build, that's completely possible, too. Like, with the point of the game that you're at, you can even do that from here. You could go, like, Strength of Faith. Or well, you could I... go... Huh? So this would be good for skeletons, but you're not you're thinking it won't be good for the cleric? I'm Which... not sure. Not sure, but I'm thinking that might be why he was I'm sure he's tanky, but he was tanky tanky. Right. Have you tried that Zoy Hander? It's so slow, bro. I mean not really though. That might be why. Oh, it says you can hold it with two hands. It's okay, so this, slow. It's not, bro. Once you see the amount of damage and the amount of stagger that you can pull out of a ultra great sword. Is that like, what this is? Okay, look at the range of it. When an enemy is running towards you, you can just stand there, wait for him, press R2, and probably one-shot him. If not, you almost stop them in their fucking tracks. You know what I mean? Like, not, not saying use this weapon, but never judge a book by its cover. Like, it might feel like a slow weapon. You might run into weapons that you just feel like are clunky, but you'd be surprised by what they're capable of. I'm not telling you to use that. You know? Like I have, I also have, uh, where is it? This. Yeah. What's that scale? How's that scale? Okay, try something real quick. Let your stamina regen. Hold L1. Hit R1. Okay, no, it doesn't do that. It still looks like it's nice. But look at that's about the same speed as that Zoyhander, bro. Is that your R2? Yeah. How many R1s do you get? Oh, uh, hold on. Let me fill up my stamina again. That's not bad. That's not bad. How many R2s you get? Alright, two R2s in a roll. You never want to do that third one. Because even if you have a tiny little hair of stamina, you can do the action. Whatever action it might be. You can do a full heavy attack, an R1, a roll, anything. So with that tiny little bit of stamina left, save that for a roll. You want to be able to swing, swing, roll out. You know what I mean? You don't want to swing, 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 and then be stuck standing there. Right. I still need to drop two pounds if I'm going to try to use that. See, it's... Yeah. It's tough for me, though, dude. What? Because I just play... I usually play with a much different build. I'll run around... With that ultra great sword, almost butt naked. Yeah. Like no armor. But, but that's just how I play because I like that light roll. I like being able to roll very efficiently. Rolling is the strongest armor in the game. You know what I mean? It removes 100% of damage. So having the best possible roll, to me, was. Yeah. 
That's why I like I like the hundred percent block. Yeah. Well, hell, if you build right, you can have a hundred percent block and a light roll, just no armor. You know, like. But it's it's all personal playstyle. It's all what whatever you enjoy. Go like this. Like, what's your weight right now? Because you've got Eight. hella endurance. Eight, bro. You can wear something with that shield and still light roll. Check. See how your roll feels right now. Yeah, look at that. You see how quick that dodge is? Yeah. Not only is that dodge super fast, it has the most iframes. Or, like, the longest... Not necessarily iframes. I don't know if it's exactly iframes in this, but it's usually distance, stamina cost. Holy shit. It's because you can't good? wield it yeah. one handed, yeah. That sucks. Um but what I could do What's the requirement on it? Uh, 24. Yeah. I could rock my Claymore, though. Yeah. And then... Rock this, this. Can you wear then, any armor and still light roll? Uh, I like wearing this because... Oh, shit. Because all the... The resistance is... Yeah, but look at the mask you just picked up below it. What that does. Remember what it does? Slightly raises stamina recovery. Yeah. So you could potentially run around with that stamina recovery mask, really light armor, like cloth pants or something, you know? Probably won't be able to light roll anymore, but no. no. You're gonna need like light light gear. Like your chest piece is probably way too much. remember there's only three rolls yes yeah, this is the lightest chest piece I have what about the one below it oh yeah it is heavier yeah. and you might be no chest piece maybe throw on some pants Even then, the, yeah, it's still I'm, not the light roll. Yeah, I think I'm too heavy still. How much do you weigh? Seventeen. Take the gloves off. That's what three pounds. It could be fifteen pounds. Oh, look, you're light rolling. God, that looks so stupid. I don't think it looks dumb. I actually think that looks really fucking cool. What's what's the three arrows next to my name? Stamina recovery, the stamina recovery perk. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but look at you now, dude. You're you're gone. Your roll's gonna be really effective. Oh shit. Shit. Damn. Shit, I forgot I forgot I used all those souls because I was gonna upgrade shit. Yeah. Now don't think at any point in time I'm telling you this is how you have to build your character. No, no, no. I'm I'm trying shit, man. I haven't tried anything yeah. other different, so uh I'm gonna go get those souls. Honestly, you don't even need the armor. 
Just use what you're using to play how you used to. Just pull out your shield. Yeah, but if there's so many of them, I want to put the resistances back on. I'm going to kill them all. So I can go get that shit. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. Alright. I mean, that's not a bad way to play. You know, it's just... I figured I'd show you more of my general play style. Let's see what you think. Well, you mean the way I'm playing now? No. No, I'm saying, like, the way you're playing now. Yeah, I saw that. You need to get out of here. Don't kite him in here. As long as he doesn't... As long as I don't hit him, he's not going to be mad at me, right? If he dies... Yeah, if he dies, then it's fucked, yeah. I'm not going to kite him in here again. I wish I could see his health. Talk to him real quick. Yeah, he's still okay with me. Come on, bro. Get off of me. What? Are you kidding me, dude? Such stun bullshit. Where did that second one even fucking come from? Yep. Pinwheels. Is that what they're called? I don't know. The boss was pinwheel. Come on, y'all. Do your zoom shit this way. There's two over there. Sometimes three, I guess. Wonder if maybe this one aggroed. Nope, I'm not going over there, bro. On, dude
Oh, there's another one up on that ledge. One more left. I'm not going close to that because I don't want that bronze knight to fall down. Fuck, he did anyways. Come on, bro. Fuck. What the fuck? I'm trying to backstab him. Fuck yeah, dude. All right. So do you think I should upgrade this divine weapon then? I mean, it's up to you, bro. Depends on what you want to level and shit, like, character-wise. Yeah. I'd like to go more of like a heavy armor and strength build. Really, that's what I'd like to go. Heavy armor, big 100% shield. Okay, here's the thing I'm going to warn you about right now. Most strength weapons are big, heavy weapons. Right. Most of the 100% shields are big, heavy shields. Right. A lot of that armor is big, heavy armor. Right. Wearing all three of those things is going to be very difficult to do. Why? It's going to require a lot of stats. And when you put all of those stats into being able to wear all of those things, your damage is going to suffer. It's going to fall behind. You see what I'm okay, saying? Okay, so... If I... You can do that. You just might have to grind a bit to be able to rock that. 
just farm souls, you mean? Yeah, you might have to grind, yeah. Yeah. I mean, because I like this gear. No, that's it. Anything you want to do, yes, you can build that way. It's completely possible. Completely. I just would have to grind for it. Yeah. I'm definitely not going to grind here for it. <laughs> yeah. Just fuck those pinwheels. Or whatever they're called. You called them pinwheels, so that's what I'm calling them. Yeah. So, what I could do is... Fuck, I'm going to have to uh, kill all those things again. Without... God damn it. Because I don't necessarily want to go down there with two fucking Estes, you know? I feel that. Let's see. Do I have... Wait, go back up to the blacksmith real quick. Okay. What are you looking for? That? Click on that. <laughs> no weapon for ascension. Oh, I don't remember this mechanic. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I honestly don't remember that mechanic. Okay, let's see. First of all, I'm getting away from his ass. I'm tired of listening to this fucking banger for no reason. Far off in the distance is fine. Fuck. I wish I had more than one humanity. If I had two, I would uh, kindle this fire. You know? Yeah. In order to one hand that Zway Hander, I'd have to have 25 strength. Yeah. And then wear basically no armor whatsoever. For now, yeah. It sucks that my, my damage. Well, the thing is. The reason that you're probably going to be wearing almost no armor at all is because you're bringing the shield. Most of the time, if you're running around with an ultra great sword, you don't have a shield. A lot of times you can just block with the great sword for reduced damage, you know, but you just. All right, well, let's see what the. But if you're light rolling, the shield isn't as important. You get good at your rolls, and you're way better off. 70%. I, I would have to instinctually... I'd have to break that instinct to block. Yeah. I mean, what you're doing is not bad, bro. You are doing what most people do on their first Souls experience. They do whatever is working best for them. The things that I'm talking about is like once you start locking in and getting shit down eventually the shield becomes obsolete you know you just dodge everything and you come right. from a game like Bloodborne where shields don't even really exist in that game you know you have to dodge it all so right. it's I guess it is ingrained a little different for me you know it is that's fair for sure but it's just, honestly, what's happening is you're trying to equip all the best things in the game at once. Right. The heaviest of the weapons, the heaviest of the shields, the heaviest of the armor. So to do that, you're going to have to have the heaviest of stats. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like, 
That's just what that comes down to. Is like, I can't even survive one fucking... Jesus Christ. I don't want to fight all these fucking pinwheel thing. It takes so long. Do what? I know, they're, they're frustrating. Uh, Jesus, dude. Yeah, dude. You just get fucking wrecked, man. Uh, if they catch you, yeah. They're exactly. faster than me. That's what sucks. Yeah. You gotta get that dodge. Remember, your dodges are good now. Your eye frames are gonna be much easier to pull off. Yeah, but honestly, the Ultra Great Sword is how I got our uh, it's how I got our buddy Dylan to quit using the shield. Oh, really? Was by an Ultra Great Sword. I was like, here, try this weapon out, see what you think. So he tried it out. He put a bunch of upgrades into it, and as soon as he upgraded it and saw its strength, he never went back to a shield. It's just. It's a playstyle thing. You like it or you don't. Fuck that big guy's back. Yeah. I have a feeling you're going to have to fight quite a few of them. Remember, there's two down here. Oh, God. Well, we know what happens when we get super low. Down below. We know what's down there, right? Not completely, no. All we well, know is that the cleric guy you fought. Right? Run! Something just died. Me. Yeah, and now it's going to be, you just got to get that roll ingrained into you now. Yep. Uh... Well, at least I only had 1,100. Yeah. His thing sucked so much, dude. Yeah, this is a really, really rough area, dude. I don't think anybody can deny that. Fuck you, man. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? This is such horse shit. This is just, like the stupidest fucking enemy ever. I said they're one of the most hated enemies in all of Dark Souls. Not just this one. All of the Dark Souls series. God damn it, man. <sighs> Fuck. This is such, such bullshit. At least I'm not losing any durability on fucking armor or my sword or anything. I ain't fighting shit. I got faith. 
I can't even get past this fucking garbage. Trust me, dude. I don't think me or anybody watching the video is going to blame you for the amount of deaths that happened right here. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you supposed to do right there? Yeah. Like, genuinely. I don't care what build you have. What are you doing right there? Yeah, like, the only way to get past them would be to fucking just kill them all. And yeah. fuck that. I don't want to waste my time fucking fighting them. Completely understand that. Dude, that dude wasn't even in the role animation. got this bro we just gotta get past these fools every time we get past these fools we gotta figure a little more out and before you know it you'll be done with these guys so. oh no <laughs> uh, I wish Maybe jump just go back to what you were rocking because at least you were making it past them Wish jump was a different fucking button other than sprint and then button again. Because if I'm mid sprint, I can't jump uh, or I can't can roll. Change it. I know some of the Dark Souls games you can change that key button. Because in order to roll, I have to stop fucking sprinting. See? I just jump. Nice. Well, there's got to be a bonfire. There was a boss here. There has to be a bonfire close, dude. Yeah, it was before it. No, there's got to be one after. There's usually a bonfire like right when you kill or right after you kill a boss. I mean, there has been up to this point. I don't know. Look it up. I'm willing to take that information. <laughs> we'll find it, bro. If it's here, we'll find it. Hey, what's to your right? Hey, what's down there? See that? Oh, no way. Death. Death. That's what was down there. Yeah. You I saw what I was looking at, though. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. We'll try to get there. Yeah. All right, fuck this. Keybinds. Yeah, change that. Yeah, yeah, let's change it to L3. That's what it is in some of the other Dark Souls. So you sprint and then click L3. That way you'll have that ingrained for the other games. See if that works. All right, we'll try it. Nice. Are we gonna watch out? There's gonna be one more? Yeah, there was none that I could do, dude. Tight curve, one was coming to my left. Yeah. Ah. 
We gotta find it. I know there's gotta be one lurking in the dark somewhere, bro. Because I'm surprised they're making you run through a boss area to get there. I don't know. Like I said, if you want to look it up. While I struggle past these dumbass motherfuckers here. Like, if if I hadn't found this bonfire here, I would have to run from that bonfire we started this video on all the way through the shit to get down here. Backing off. They can't get in here. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, I can't jump. I have to take that fall damage. Oh, bro. What? I'm looking up the next bonfire. Uh-huh. Not pleasant. From here to there, you mean? Yeah. And honestly, if you run straight to it, there's a lot of shit you can go look at. Right. That sucks. So, like, this area is just... Garbage? It's bad. Like, I don't even know if, for the main objective of the game if I even have to come down here. Like, I don't know what's below, you know? I have no idea what's down here in the Tomb of the Giants. Don't even know if it's worth coming down here, fighting in this bullshit darkness. Okay, do you want to go straight to the bonfire? I mean, I'm going to miss so much shit, but I can come back you through. Can come back, I think, yeah. I think. What do I got to do? Quote me on that. Do you want to know? Yeah, how, where do okay, I gotta go? Okay, just start, just start going. You're going to skip enemies. So go forward, hold your light up, go forward. I go back yep, to where those, forward. like glowy shit is no you gotta slide down these weird pill these tomb things the bridge you just walked across uh -huh. you have to go down two of those no don't drop down you gotta run past the skelly yeah look here's one right here go down it go down the next one right here there should be one more yep I think it's that way. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Yep. Yep, go down there. Watch out, there's one behind you. There's a skelly behind you. Yep, right here. The so fuck is the. But it's. You're really close. It's. You just gotta deal with this guy. Oh god, no, you're passing it. You're passing it. Bonfire's <gasps> at him. Oh shit. Alright, now sprint, sprint, sprint. There's a ladder to your right. To your right. Yeah, there's a ladder. Oh, he missed it. Where? Right there in front of you. No. Yeah. This is the bonfire. Right there. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was hard to. It's yeah, hard dude. to tell you in the dark and shit, like. Yeah. Yeah, I I I needed that, dude, because just running through all those pinwheels is so trash. Get off the ledge. He's gone. Oh my gosh! Look at your health. Yeah, see, but he's gonna reset all the way up top. He followed me from all the way up yeah. top. Yeah. So obviously you can get your way back up because you've made it to patches before. Yeah, exactly. So yes, you can get your way back up. All right, y'all. We're going to end this video here. Like I said before, I recorded most of this game in several hour blocks over several sessions, so I'm cutting it up into smaller sizes so the videos aren't several hours long. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you had, and comment down below what you thought. But please, no spoilers, as this is a blind playthrough and I'm not looking anything up. Catch y'all in the next one. Later!